Let's denote the three given lines by 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Note that the gradient of the first line is equal to m1. The gradient of the second line is equal to m2. And the gradient of the third line is equal to m3. Now these three lines cannot meet if they are parallel. It therefore follows that m1 should not be equal to m2, m1 should not be equal to m3, and m2 should not be equal to m3. It therefore follows that m1 minus m2 should not be equal to 0, m3 minus m1 should not be equal to 0, and m3 minus m2 should not be equal to 0. Now these lines will meet at a point if the point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 lies on the third line. Now the point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 which are y is equal to m1x plus c1 and y is equal to m2x plus c2 are obtained by equating the value of y from both these equations and therefore m1x plus c1 is equal to m2x plus c2. And therefore m2 minus m1 times x is equal to c1 minus c2 Dividing by m2 minus m1, which is not equal to 0, as established above, we get x is equal to c1 minus c2 upon m2 minus m1. Therefore, at the point of intersection, y, which is equal to m1x plus c1, is equal to m1 times c1 minus c2 upon m2 minus m1 plus c1, which is equal to m1c1 minus m1c2 plus m2c1 minus m1c1 divided by m2 minus m1. In the numerator, m1c1 cancels and therefore the value of y at the point of intersection simplifies to m2c1 minus m1c2 divided by m2 minus m1. Therefore, the coordinates of the point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 are C1 minus C2 upon M2 minus M1 and M2C1 minus M1C2 upon M2 minus M1. Now for the three lines to meet at a point, this point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 must satisfy the equation of line 3 which is y is equal to m3x plus c3. Therefore, m2c1 minus m1c2 upon m2 minus m1 is equal to m3 times c1 minus c2 upon m2 minus m1 plus c3. Multiplying both sides by m2 minus m1, we get m2c1 minus m1c2 is equal to m3c1 minus m3c2 plus c3 times in brackets m2 minus m1. This implies that m2c1 minus m1c2 minus m3c1 plus m3c2 minus c3m2 plus c3m1 is equal to 0. Now collecting the coefficients of c1, c2 and c3 respectively, we get m2 minus m3 
in brackets times C1 plus in brackets M3 minus M1 multiplied by C2 plus M1 minus M2 in brackets times C3 is equal to 0. Therefore, to summarize, the three given lines meet at a point if M2 minus M3 times C1 plus M3 minus M1 times C2 plus M1 minus M2 times C3 is equal to 0 and M1 minus M2 is not equal to 0. M3 minus M2 is not equal to 0. And M3 minus M1 is not equal to 0, which is the required result.